Right, so doing the cowl on the Gix 1000 project bike, which is covered. GS1000 is covered and small paint shop booze thing is up. And inside, it's toasty warm. It's toasty warm. And I've got the extraction going. And hopefully this, <laughs> this he says, I've ordered some bulldog clips to hold all this together. But hopefully this will contain the mess as much as possible. Got to clean this off with initially the poly sanding disc and then um, clean it all off, panel wipe and all the rest of it. And then start painting it up. Which I thought I'd do on the welding table. So unfortunately most of that's going to get covered in shit. But hopefully the rest of the shed might stay a bit dust free. But only time will tell. But initially I'm going to clean that off. I'm not going to film cleaning that off. Or am I? Should I? Film a bit of it. Definitely need a new tripod. Right, so. I'm going to put my mask on. Because obviously I've created a. Very. I've created a very enclosed environment. So I want some breathing apparatus on. Well, there you go. You get the idea. I'll finish that off and then bring you back when I'm cleaning it up. Okay, so all cleaned off with the poly sander and then and then sand it off and then that's the first coat of primer gone on and that's the heater keeping it warm and the exhaust gas extraction unit keeping the rest of the shed pretty much odor free fume free so just got to leave that about 15 minutes and then give it another go over okay that's four coats on there so I'll leave that for 24 hours at least to set solid harden and then um, give it a bit of a sanding and then start sticking on the colour but that is enough for today. So back to doing the cowl. The, the paintwork has gone a bit crap. Um, it looks as though the last coat of paint that I put on it, where I've sprayed across, it's blown up all the dust particles and everything off the top here onto it. Um, I've sanded down the other side which you can see is a much better primer color rather than this dark horrible powder I mean you can feel just how rough that is so I'm going to sand that back and just leave it will still leave leave because this this lovely and soft listen you know what I mean it's totally totally different so I'm going to sand that edge off uh, clean it all up panel wipe it tack cloth it blah 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 um, and then I've been doing a bit of research about the painting and 
possibly the etch primer is not happy about the um, base coat, the color coat that I put on top of it. And they might have reacted. So a lot of people are saying, once you've done the etch primer, because that was bare metal, so once you've done the etch primer, put a filler primer over it, um, which will, I don't know whether it seals in the acid of the um, etch primer, then it doesn't affect the base coat. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are saying use filler primer or a sealer. So I've got filler primer. I'm gonna sand this back, stick a two or three light coats of filler primer over it, see how that comes out. And if that's okay, then I'll start with the base color. But first of all, I've got sandal this rough, shitty finish off. Okay, back again in the shed. All the bikes are covered, ready. Paint shop set up, ready. Paint cans are on the floor, getting warmed up. Shed's getting warmed up. And today it's the, back on the cowl, working on the cowl. Um, that's had a week to cure. I just wanted to make sure none of that was gonna crack. And it hasn't. <laughs> that's not to say it won't. That's to say it's, it hasn't at the moment. So it said, um, I think it was three coats of the black and it had about 15, 10 to 15 minutes between coats to cure. And then as I say, it's had a further week to cure. Now, I've got a bit of a rough finish on these. I'm not overly concerned about it, actually. Um, it is just, you probably won't see it, but it is just really on this section across here. So I'm gonna sand that down with a bit of 600 or 800 grit uh, wet and dry and um, see if I can get some of that out. Um, I've got a. What have I got to do? I've got to sand it down um, to make a surface to key for the clear coat. And this is where I failed, I think I failed before, is that I put too many layers on. I did like three, three or four layers of the black, and then I did three or four layers of the clear coat straight over the top. And the black didn't have time to cure properly because again, I was only giving it 10, 15 minutes between coats. And apparently when you go from your base coat, your color, and start applying your clear, your last color coat, you leave for perhaps half an hour to an hour. I mean, it's all dependent on um, ambient temperatures and all the rest of it, but you leave it a lot longer to give the um, color coats a chance to, what is it, cure, it's, it's the solvents or whatever, just um, dry off. Um, I, really, <laughs> I really don't know what I'm fucking talking about. Anyway, you leave it a lot longer to cure. So I'm gonna um, sand this down, put another one, or two light coats over the top, which will then give me a, uh, a surface that the clear coat will key to, will stick to. Um, if I was to just put the clear coat on this, it would probably crack and peel off because it, it won't adhere to this very well. So yes, gonna sand that down with some 600 or 800 grit, sandpaper, a couple of coats of black, maybe even just the one. got this side yeah anyway as I say I'll scratch it up see if I can get some of this roughness out um, one or two coats of the black and then start clear coating but I'll leave it a good probably hour um, to allow the, the base coat to cure um, I think they say within you know, it, even if you give it 24 hours, it should still be a good surface to, for the clear coat to adhere to. 
um, but a lot of people were saying half an hour, 40 minutes. So I'm gonna give it an hour, which also allows it to dry enough that I'm gonna put the stickers on the sides. So it will dry enough that if that sort of goes wrong, I shouldn't mess up the surface. <laughs> shouldn't, we'll see. Anyway, let's crack on. Let me crack on, you just watch. Um, what a bodgy job I made of this, make of this. So first, a bit of sanding. Right, so, got me 800 grit, got my water, which is just water. Some people use soap and water, but I was a bit concerned that whatever soap I use, the detergents might react with the paint. So I've just gone with straight water. Um, so crack on. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of the, whatever it is, whatever it's not happy with the paint. So it'll end up being a textured finish. <laughs> It's all a learning curve. Let's get some clean cloths. Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of places it's started to bring the cut through to the primer. That's all right, it's getting another, well, being that it has cut through the primer, it'll get another couple of coats. But yeah, that hasn't, smoother than it was. So, I'll give that a clean off. Let's get rid of that one. Let's put the new, the new dirty dry one down. Yeah, I'll give that a, a clean off with panel wipe. And then hang it up, tack cloth it, and then give it a couple of coats. Yeah, it really has. Cut through that, and I thought I put some real. Makes me worry about the clear coat because you're meant to give that a bit of a sand and then buff. And if that's cut through that easy, and that was three, three coats. First coat was a, like a um, light coat, just a dusting, and then two further. Might have been three actually. Three um, heavy coats of black. Have a good wipe with a dirty cloth. Now let's give it a wipe with a clean cloth. Right, I'll hang it up and then I'll probably give it another wipe with panel cleaner and then tack cloth it and then start painting. Right, that's the first coat. I'll give that 15 or 20 minutes Give it a bit longer than I've been giving it to cure. Stick another coat over the top and I think that'll be enough. And then leave that for about an hour. Put the stickers on, clear coat it. Get it back on the bike. Get the bloody bike outside and ride the bloody thing. But first, let's allow that to cure. 
Okay, coat number two. I'll tack cloth it all off first, get any surface dust and that off, and then give it another coat. Okay, I'll give that another uh, 20 minutes, maybe even half an hour on this one, and then I'll get the stickers put on it, give it a little bit longer, and then start clear coating, I think. But I'll check it first, just to make sure I've got a good coverage on there, and it is ready for clear coat. It's not a showroom finish, that's for sure, but it'll still look gorgeous. Okay, so that's had two really good coats and it's come out a lot better than it was, which is good. And that's had 40 minutes so far to cure. So I've de-hung it. And now, I'm gonna stick the stickers on. He's very nice. Right, hang it back up, tack cloth it off, and um, start applying clear coat. Okay, so I'll give it a quick tack cloth off. That's at about 55 minutes now for the color to cure. So I'll give it a quick tack cloth off and then start applying clear coat. I think I'll leave it sort of 20 minutes, 25 minutes between clear coat um, layers, that's the word, and give it about three layers, that'll do it. So that's nearly the end product. I brought it indoors in a warmer environment to cure. I can still smell it going off, but it's come out quite lovely and glossy there is some orange peeling evident on the clear coat but possibly a lot of that will polish out but I don't want to go too mad with the polish in case it um, takes it back to the bare paintwork again yeah that's come out all right so that'll sit there for a few days to cure and then as I say I'll give it a give it a polish with Maguire's um, cutting compound and then polishing compound and see how it comes up and then turtle wax it and stick it back on the bike but hopefully that will stay like that rather than cracking yes it's quite good at the moment anyway that's enough for today time for a beer ta -ra.